Hello everyone, my name is Jack and I'm going to be joining you once again for week four of Grounded. So today we are going to start off by reading the lesson from Mark 4, the parable of the mustard seed. Hmm, Jesus said one day to a crowd of listeners. He tapped his chin. How can I describe the family of God to you? Aha, God's family is like a mustard seed. But mustard seeds are tiny, the crowd exclaimed. Jesus scooped some round black seeds from the ground and rolled them in his palm. When they grow, the mustard seeds turn into the largest, strongest plants around. Even birds put nests into their branches. The crowd was starting to nod. They were getting it. It starts small, but the tiny seed grows into something great. He stepped back to show a full-grown mustard bush as tall as two people. God's family may have started out small, but each time someone shows or tells others about the love of God, it grows and grows. Now, what is this all saying? Much like a lot of things in life, mustard seeds start out really small, and then they grow into this ginormous, beautiful tree, just like how you all started out as babies and are growing to be big and strong, just like a tree. But what Jesus is telling the people here is that God's family started out very small. Like what? A mustard seed. And as time goes by and the word of the Lord is spread amongst generation after generation, the seed, or God's family, grows and grows into something fantastic. And guess what? You are all part of God's family. So you have helped this little seed grow and grow with your love and compassion for others and helping to spread the word of the Lord. For today's craft, we are going to be making popsicle stick plant markers so you can put them in your garden or anywhere you'd like to mark what kinds of seeds and plants you're growing. So the materials you'll need nearby are at least five popsicle sticks, um, markers or some paint, a sharpie, and some glue. And I recommend if you have the squeezable glue, that might work a little bit better. Or if you do just have the sticks, that should work fine as well. So let's get crafting. Alrighty, everybody. So to start off, always put something down underneath it, or if you're on the table, make sure there's just some kind of protective barrier so you don't get a mess on whatever surface you are going to be crafting on. So to start off, you are going to want to place your popsicle sticks kind of in this kind of shape. So at least two on the bottom and then three in the middle, like so. And so they'll look something like this. So it's always nice to plan them out first before then gluing. So this is the kind of glue that I'm going to be using. Like I said, the squeezable might be a little bit easier, but you can, of course, use the sticks. So I am going to glue these all together and then I'll be right back. Okay, everybody. So I have now glued these all together. As you can see, I just put, I put little dots on or just a little line here along the two popsicle sticks that's holding them up and then put and press down each of the three popsicle sticks for the middle part. And then I just waited about just, uh, I think about an hour and just let them dry or they might just take 30 minutes. I had to go eat dinner, so I left them to dry and it worked out perfectly. So you can leave them to dry while you're eating lunch or going to do something else. And so now what we are going to be doing is we are going to be coloring them and adding whatever um, little words that we want to put on them. So I think I'm going to write strawberries on these ones because I love strawberries and um, maybe green beans on this one because I also love green beans. So I'm going to go do that and meet you back in a second. Alrighty, so these are how my finished products came out. So I just have green beans right here and I decorated the sticks a little bit, you can as well. And then of course, strawberry here. And you of course can do whatever plants um, vegetables and fruits that you want to be planting in your garden or whatever you want to put on them and of course whatever colors you want I just put them to match with um, what I was writing on on to my planters but this is just an example and yours are going to turn out fantastic like always and I hope you all have an amazing time doing this craft and you guys are all so creative and I hope you all have a great Sunday. All right, bye everybody.